Hi everybody and welcome to Virtual Sunday School. Well, if you remember in our last video, we talked about who or what is God. And we said that we as Orthodox Christians are a monotheistic faith. That means we believe in only one God. In fact, in the creed, I believe in one God. But wait a minute, in every liturgy, don't we say glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages, amen? Doesn't that mean we believe in three gods? And then if you remember, doesn't that mean we're polytheistic, meaning we believe in many gods? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today, and we're gonna discuss the Holy Trinity. So before we talk about one God versus three gods, let's talk about each of the three persons. We'll start with the Father. Now, it's not the Father like you're thinking, like Daddy. It's just a term that we use. Now, the Father's role or His purpose is that He is the one that comes up with the plan. It's His what we call will. Now, so He's the first person of the Trinity. The second person, He's the one you know really well. That's Jesus. And He's referred to as the Son. Now again, not to sound like the baby of your dad or anything like that, but this is a unique person. And you can think of Jesus kind of like the action guy. He's the one that gets the work done. So when God said, let there be creation, that was Jesus. When Moses asked, let's split the water, that was Jesus. So it's Jesus that does the work or the will of the Father. And last, we have the most mysterious of all that we don't know a whole lot about, the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit is not like a friendly ghost like Casper or something like that. But it is the Holy Spirit that blesses, or the word that we use, is sanctifies the work that was done by Jesus. Jesus, remember, sent us the Holy Spirit. So he's the one that helps guide our lives but he blesses all things, the things that Jesus does and the things that we do. Okay, we have the Father who comes up with the plan, it's his will. We have Jesus, the action guy, and then we have the Holy Spirit that guides and oversees everything. But wait a minute, that still doesn't answer the original question. Okay, we know who the three persons are, but how are these three persons still just one God. So is the Holy Trinity like a single body with three different heads? No, that'd be totally scary. Well, maybe like an egg. You know, you got the shell, you got the yolk, you got the white stuff on the inside. No, that doesn't work either because those are three different things. They're not one thing. Wait a minute. How about it's one person wearing three different masks. So one time it's God the Father, and then say, wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute, now I'm Jesus, wait a minute, oh, and now I'm the Holy Spirit. Well, no, I mean, this isn't Kabuki theater, and it's certainly not the Phantom of the Opera. So what is the answer? So let's go back to our two-dimensional man. You remember him from our first video, right? And there he is. And we tell our two-dimensional man that the Holy Trinity is like a pyramid. And so we draw him a pyramid. Okay? But then we tell him that actually there's three triangles in that pyramid. There's the one triangle of the Father, then of the Son, and a triangle for the Holy Spirit. But our two-dimensional man, all he sees is a triangle. And actually, if you want to be technical, really all he sees is a line. So he's really confused. But we say, no, trust us. You've got to have faith. There's actually three triangles there, even though you can't see them. And so now let's look at it from our three-dimensional world. And so here we see the pyramid in its three dimensions. Our two-dimensional man can't see that, but we can see each one of the triangles. We see Father, we see the triangle of Son, and we see the triangle of Holy Spirit. Now, God, in His multi-dimensional universe, says to us, yeah, but 
each one of these sides is exactly the same. And we say, yeah, it is. No, 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 exactly the same. It's the same triangle. And we say, no, there's one triangle there, there's one triangle there, and there's one triangle there. And God says, no, it's all one triangle. There's three triangles, but they're all the same. And God says, no, 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 trust me, you gotta have faith. So as three-dimensional beings, how can we even begin to understand what the Holy Trinity is? Well, we can start with our liturgy book that we have every Sunday. Now, right after the creed, the priest reads a prayer silently, and the first words of that give us some idea. It says, It is proper and right to praise you, to bless you, to offer you glory. For you, O God, are beyond description, beyond understanding, invisible, incomprehensible, meaning that we can't even begin to understand him, and you are eternal and forever the same. What that tells us is that for us as three-dimensional creatures, we do have to believe that the Holy Trinity is the expression of our one monotheistic God. But wait a minute, the Bible can help us because there are examples in both the New Testament and the Old Testament where the Holy Trinity has worked together. But to see that, you're gonna to have to watch some of our Old Testament and New Testament videos. So everybody, thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.